Hey guys, it's JoJo Stuff 6 from YouTube, and I'm here to do a book review. So, first book I read a couple weeks ago, and it is called The Scorch Trials, and um, this is by James Dasher. Um, this is a sequel to the first book, The Maze Runner. So, uh, The Maze Runner, um, Thomas. I am going to be so bad with names on this video, and I apologize. This is my second time recording it. I hope I do better. Um, Thomas, you know, he wakes up in the glade, and he discovers he's in a maze, and him and his little uh, glader friends try to fight the way out of the maze, and anyway, they get out of the maze, and they run into Wicked, and then um, they think they are done. Wicked saves them. Um, they go, and they have great dinner they go to bed and then the book starts they wake up the next morning to broken glass screaming these people called cranks um they were infected by this disease called the flare and it kind of eats away at your brain after a while and just talking about it, it's kind of freaking me out because i was scared during this book um the cranks scared the crap out of me um I was just really scared. I am 33 years old and I was terrified of these cranks. Uh, it really goes into detail on how warped their mind gets. So anyway, um, what happens is uh, they decide, um, they figure out Wicked is putting them through another trial called the Scorch Trials and what they have to do is, I think it's like 200 miles or something miles in two weeks in this hot, hot, hot desert. They ha can't go out with, like, skin. They have to wear sheets over their heads or they'll just burn their skin. Um, they have to go out in this desert and walk and walk and walk. And then when they think, oh, cloud cover, yay, some nice cold winter. No, it's like crazy flare lightning. It comes down electrocutes people. You know, it's, it's not fun. So they get to the city and then they see, um, they meet these two people. And I don't want to go and tell you everything. I was going to tell you these cranks, cranks are very, very, very scary. Um, don't listen to it before bed, which I did. Let's just say they like to take people's noses, and that's all I'm going to say on that. But, absolutely good book. I'd say 14 and up. 13 and up. 14 and up. Depends how brave you are. Next book is Aloha from Belle. And this is the third novel from the Sandman Switch. Sandman Slim, and this is by Richard Cadney. I'm thinking right, Cadney. Anyway, um, I read the first book a couple years ago, so my memory is definitely not fresh. The first book is called Sandman Slim. I remember it's kind of, kind of a gray cover. What this book is about is um, Stark. He was sent down to hell by his people who thought was his friend. Um, they asked, they killed his girlfriend. Uh, and he had to go fight in the rings um, for sport. You know, like the gladiators had to fight for people's entertainment. So he had to, you know, get beat up every day for people's entertainment. So anyway, in the first book, finally he breaks his way out to the surface. And in the first book, he's basically trying to take revenge on all the people who killed his girlfriend and sent him down the hell. Um, let's see. I'm not done with this book. I'm actually on disc number eight. In this book, um... This boy gets possessed by a demon, and he figures out that it. Uh, this boy's brother was one of his friends at the time. Um, I don't think he was involved in sending him down to hell, but I know they used to kind of do these kind of like brain drugs together. So anyway, I think it's a good read. I'm saying 17 and up, because I know my. I don't think I would definitely not want my 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year old reading these books. Even though I used to read the books. And if you ever want to hear a funny story on a book that I read accidentally one time, I would be happy to tell you. So now on to audible.com. I don't want to bore you guys, so let me start out with The Last Boyfriend by Nora Roberts. And I just hold it there for a little bit. This book is a sequel to, um, what is the name of it? 
the next always. And this is the last boyfriend. I forget the male character's name, but this is the male character and Avery, the one who runs the pizza so shop. This is one of the best. This one and the last always. This Boone's Bro Brothers series is the best Noel Roberts book I've ever read. Books. So definitely check that out. Um... Oh, this is Bloodlines by Rachel Mead. Um, do you remember Vampire Academy? Absolutely love that book. Way better than House of Night, in my opinion. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. But in my opinion, way better than House of Night. Please check out the Vampire Academy. It is awesome. It'll keep you on your toes. Yeah, I wasn't so fond of the first book, but the second through, I think there were six books in the series, second through six, I had the books at my parents' house and I didn't want to go home. I made excuses to go there to read. So, um, this book is Blood Bloodlines, and this is Sydney the Alchemist. And, um, so, you, well, if, uh, if you read, if you haven't read Vampire Academy, just kind of, like, plug your ears for the next part of my speech, um, so after Vampire Cat, after the last book, you know, um, what's her name? Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, oh my goodness. Totally name blank. The girl becomes queen, if you know what I'm talking about. I can't believe I forgot. I love those books. Rose's person she's guarding becomes queen. And, um, Clarissa? No, that's not her name. Anyway. Anyway, and Jill, her, um, is found out to be her sister, and so, um, Jill has to be hidden because there was an attack on, I swear her name's Alyssa, or something, on her life, so, um, Sydney is kind of asked by, you know, the alchemist people, because she got in trouble for helping Rose last time, she's asked by them to take Jill to a private school, and Eddie is there too, and... Adrian is there, and you do get to see a little bit of Rose and Dimitri, um, but not a whole bunch. It's mostly Sydney, Jill, Eddie, and Adrian. So it's those four, and it's basically, you know, Jill's having to stand up for herself because they think she's a vampire lover, and in the Alchemist line of duty, that is, let me put my hand down, that is not good um, to be a vampire lover, so... I really love this book. The next book comes out in June, which is actually when this video will be shooting. I'm shooting it early because my mom is going to surgery and I'm going on vacation, so I'm trying to shoot all these videos in the end of May. So it's May when I'm shooting. It's probably the end of June when you're getting this. So I won't have to do anything in June. So, okay. Um, the next book I'm going to talk about just maybe one more. One more series, I think. No, two more. I lied. The next book series is by Molly Harper. The first book is called Nice Girls Don't Have Fangs. The second book is called Nice Girls Don't Date Dead Men. And the third book is called Nice Girls Don't Live Forever. So hopefully you are picking this up. Nice camera. The green, green is the first book. The red is the second book, and the blue is the third book. So, um, these are an absolutely fantastic read. They're not, like, dark and heavy or anything. It's a light, funny read. You're going to laugh. It's just, there's Buffy references. I love, absolutely love Buffy. Um, so I love the references. It's about this girl named Jane Jemison. I think I'm saying her na last name right, but I'm not sure. And when she was a librarian, she had the bachelor's degree in library science, or maybe master's. And she gets let go one day by her manager, who wants to hire her, like, kind of brain-dead niece. And what they do is they kind of give her a little going-away gift card to the bar. She goes to the bar, and she gets kind of a little bit drunk. And her car doesn't start, so she starts to walk home, and one of the townspeople says, think she's a deer so they shoot her and this vampire that she was talking to in the bar which totally forgetting the name um you know turned her into a vampire and um it's just funny like 
even when she's kind of like scared that people are trying to kill her, it's hilarious. I enjoy, I love, 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 love the narrator. Anyway, so definitely go check out the Molly Harper Janice Jamison books, or Jameson, Janice Jamison. Um, the next books I have to talk about are by Rita Mae Brown. Um, she is an excellent, excellent author. Um, here, let me show you what the book actually looks like, because I'm reading this one again. This is Cat of the Century, and um, I read this twice. What is it about? It's about this woman named Harry Harrisdean. She lives in Central Virginia. She has two cats and a dog, Pewter, Mrs. Murphy, and Tucker's the dog. And, um, and anyway, um, uh, I named my cat after Pewter. Anyway, she likes to solve mysteries, and I hope you are catching this. She likes to solve mysteries. Um, she kind of gets her nose in deep sometimes and has to be rescued by the animals. And one thing I love is the animals talk. The humans can't understand them, but they, you know, they have their own personalities and their own voices. So I love that. Um, definitely check that book out. It's an absolutely great read. It's uh, another light read. Um, let's see.